Angela, thank you for having us. It's 7 a.m. It is approaching 7 a.m. Are you a morning person? You know, I never was a morning person until I was forced to be a morning person by becoming a mother, of course. I sometimes wake up and do a cold shower, which is really amazing for your intricate system and to wake up your body. It like flushes your organs with all fresh blood. Sometimes, I admit, I skip that part. Then I do my yoga to get my system going. Mm -hmm. Then I go into meditation. If I have time, I'll do my juice. The radiance of a woman, to me, is what makes her beautiful. The inner, the grace in which she carries herself is what makes her beautiful. This obsessive focus on external beauty is so damaging to the psyche of a woman. And a woman is a powerful, powerful creative being. And, then, and damaging that and creating that neurosis for me is destroying the planet because that female energy is the planet. I'm able to really hone in on it through these daily practices, my yoga, my taekwondo, my eating habits, and that's what keeps me centered. Your home is where you spend most of your time. It's your sanctuary, so, you know, I try to be really conscious of that, even in creating space within mm -hmm. the home. One of the first things that went in was a garden. This season, I'm getting ready to plant my butternut squash, beets, kale, chard, collard grains, loads of salads. And when you break it down and you're like, you know, it took five months for this one little bean to grow. Then when you, before you put it in your mouth, it's only gonna take you, you know, 10 seconds to chew up and eat. Mm -hmm. Then you actually realize that this is life, that you're, it's sustaining you and it's really scary that we're genetically modifying that in which sustains us. The pesticides that we're putting into the earth and onto the food that ends up in our mouths and ends up in our bodies to me just seems crazy actually. Mm -hmm. This fashion career and then this environmental world and I always felt them conflicting. Over the years it's been really exciting to not only see environmental awareness come out more in the mainstream that's a little more approachable, um, but to now see companies starting to make sustainable choices, to have the opportunity to work with companies like that. And uh, Pure DKNY is one of them that's really focused around um, supporting women in Uganda through Care International. And John Hardy's another company that I really felt honored to work with because they have a lot of similar core values. Mm -hmm. They make a lot of small choices to, you know, make a big difference. And now we've created a line of jewelry together called Angela by John Hardy. We use recycled silver. I grew up in Kansas City, Missouri, so really in the heart of America. I mean, just spending time in Paris and Italy and Africa. And Bali, that's what I love. I love different cultures, I love different people because you realize at the end of the day, no matter how different our backgrounds are or how we grew up, there's a part of us that's the same, you know, and, and there's a connection and, and I love just the differences in people and people are very hungry, very hungry for the information. So I would love to find ways to, you know, share these amazing people out there that have the wisdom and knowledge mm -hmm. and inspire people. Of course, Above is doing this, mm -hmm. so, you know, more power to Above.